Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking the sum of a finite series. It starts from the first one and it ends here. And we're going to go from three to four to five. And this is not something you would just look at and compute because we're having titanic numbers in the denominator. As you can see, it ends in 2024 factorial. Okay, so when you get a problem like this, the most important thing is you knowing the formula for the series. So each of the terms can be written in terms of n or k. Now, if you can't figure out what the formula is, there's no way you can get this. And even after figuring out the formula, there's still some algebraic manipulations you'll have to do. It is good for you if you go into mathematics competitions, mathematics competitions, that you know how to deal with things like this, especially how to find the formula. Let's get into the video. The very first mission is to find a formula for what we have. And just by observation, you can figure some things out. Okay? The first thing is, look at the top. What's happening? The top is increasing by one every time until you get to 2024. Now, whenever you want to generate the formula for a sequence, okay, or this one now is a series, whenever you want to generate a formula, just look at the terms and find the common difference between the terms if they have a common difference. That makes your life a lot easier. So, we're going to say that the top, the numerator, is given by the common difference, which in this case is 1, so it's going to be d multiplied by k. So now k would be k will be equal to 1, 2, 3, just the number of terms that you have there, okay? 1, 2, 3, all natural numbers. That's what our k will always be, unless you need to adjust it. Now, what is the common difference in this case? It's 1. 1 times k. This is going to be k. Okay, when k is equal to 1, what is the number we have there? It's 3. As you can see, they don't, they don't match. Okay, it means this formula is not going to work unless you add 2 to your formula. So, in reality, you will always make an adjustment to get the formula depending on what the first term is. Okay, so at this point, it is safe to say that the numerator will be equal to d times k plus 2. Okay, so this is going to be equal to 1 times k plus 2, which is k plus 2. This is how you find every formula that you get when it has a common difference. Let me give you another example. Suppose that the very first term was 4, followed by 7, followed by 10, followed by 13, and you want to find a formula for this, okay? Your formula is, ask, what is the common difference? The common difference is 3. That's your D. So, formula equals the common difference, D, multiplied by K. D times K is a permanent formula. The only thing that is left is the adjustment. So look, common difference times K in this case is going to be 3K. So 3K. When K equals 1, 3 times 1 is 3, and that should be our first term. But you look, the first term is not 3. What is it? It is 4. So what do you have to do to 3 to make it 4? You add 1 to it. So. This is now your formula, okay? It's just easy. You can find a permanent formula for this, but this one is very easy to cope with. So basically, we know that the numerator for this problem we have is going to be equal to, so formula, 4, a sub n, or a sub k, is going to be equal to k plus 2, over something. Now, something that's under is very obvious. We don't need to think about it because the first term starts with 1, 
goes to 2 and goes to 3. So we can say it's going to be k plus k plus 1 factorial plus k plus 2 factorial. So we go, it's going to be k factorial plus factorial. This is the formula for every single term. And with that, we can just do algebra. Everything in this concept is mostly pre-calculus and maybe a tiny bit of calculus too. Before we start adding up all the terms, it is good for us to make this easier for us to deal with, something we can see. And as you can see, there is k plus 2 here, there's k plus 2 factorial in the denominator. It is possible to cancel some things out after we factor. So we're going to try to do some factoring because the good thing is that all of these terms contain k factorial. Everybody has k factorial. a sub k equals k plus 2 divided by, this is going to be k factorial plus, this can be written as k plus 1 times k factorial, right? And then this one can be written as k plus 2, k plus 1 times k factorial. So every term contains k factorial and we can factor that out is equal to the top is going to be k plus 2, the bottom is going to be k factorial. If you factor this out, this is going to have 1 here. So you have 1. What's left here? k plus 1 plus k plus 1 plus. If you factor out k factorial here, you're going to have k plus 2, k plus 1. You're going to have k plus 2 times k plus 1. You see that? Okay, now this 1 plus k plus 1 gives us k plus 2. So it looks like it cleans up to become k plus 2 over k. Let's close it. Now there's k plus 2 here, there's k plus 2 here. We can factor another k plus 2 out. So this gives us k plus 2 over k factorial. Um, this becomes k plus 2 times 1 plus, what's left here is k plus 1. Nice. This cleans up to become k plus 2 over k factorial times k plus 2 squared. Interesting. So now, k plus 2 can cancel one of these k plus 2's so that what we have becomes 1 over k factorial times k plus 2. We've done a very good job so far. However, we cannot compute all of these starting from 1 to 2024. But we can do it if we find something that cancels everything in the middle out so you can only deal with the beginning and the ending and that's a telescoping series so your calc 2 skills will come in in this case and you'll go how can i make these into make this into a telescoping series see what it's going to look like this is going to be equal to i'm going to manipulate the bottom to look like this so instead of writing k i'm going to write k factorial but i'm going to write this as k plus 2 factorial this fits this profile because I want this to be there okay the very last one for a telescoping series you want to see the last term so that's why I would do k plus 2 factorial but what I've done is remember that k plus 2 factorial is just k plus 2 times k plus 1 factorial right so what I'm going to do is I don't want this because what I need is just k plus 2. That's what's here. So I might as well just put k plus 1 factorial here, which means this is the same thing as this, right? And if I want to be even nicer to myself, instead of writing k plus 1 factorial, I'm going to write k plus 1 times k factorial. This, this is still the same thing. 
You see that? So, because this k factorial, if I go up now, instead of writing k plus 2 factorial, I'm going to write k plus 2 factorial down here. But here I'm going to write k plus 1 times k factorial. This is exactly, this is exactly this. Because by putting factorial symbol here, I have extended this bottom, this k plus 2 by k plus 1 times k factorial. So now we can do some cancellation. This can take this out. All I have is k plus 1 over k plus 2 factorial. But I still need a telescoping series. So what I can do is... Ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta. This is going to be equal to k plus 1 over k plus 2 factorial. However, something I could do, I could rewrite the middle, the top, as k plus 2 minus 1, I found it, over k plus 2 factorial. I told you a telescoping series would save the day. Now what happens here? This can be written as k plus 2 over k plus 2 factorial minus 1 over k plus 2 factorial. The telescoping series is here. And remember, we can still move this and actually... Ta, 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 ta. We can rewrite this easily as k plus 2 over... This is going to be k plus 2 times k plus 1 factorial minus 1 over k plus 2 factorial. This will cancel this so that we have 1 over k plus 1 factorial minus 1 over k plus 2 factorial. This is the telescoping series and we can evaluate this perfectly. <laughs> Okay, now let's get our answer. So we've come to the end of the problem because the sum of all the terms in this series, so each of the terms is represented as a sub k, and we found a formula that, that shows it in telescoping, telescoping series form. Okay, so what do you do? Well, anytime you're dealing with a telescoping series, all you have to do is, remember, a telescoping series brings something that is a far off and brings it closer. So what's going to happen is we're going to just put a bunch of terms in it. Let's see. This is going to be when k is equal to 1, your answer is going to be 1 over 2 factorial because it's going to be 1 plus 1. So you have 1 over 2 factorial minus when k equals 1, 1 plus 2 is going to be 3 factorial minus 1 over 3 factorial. Now you don't need to evaluate because things will cancel out. Now this is the very first one. Plus. So we're going to add the next term to it. You see this plus sign. So we're going to do this one. So this is going to be equal to 1 open parenthesis over when k is equal to 2 it's going to be 2 plus 1 which is 3 factorial. Okay. Minus the next one is going to be 1 over 4 factorial. Are you beginning to see what's going to happen? Plus, already you can see that this will cancel this out. This is minus 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial. These two cancel out. And when I generate the next one, it's going to be 1 over 4 factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial minus 1 over 5 factorial. We close it. Plus, this will continue until we get to the term just before the very last one, which is going to be 1 over 2023 factorial minus 1 over 2024 factorial. This will be the very last term in this series. 
So, this cancels this out, this cancels this out, this cancels some guy that's hanging out somewhere out, and some guy here cancels this guy out. So the only two guys that are gonna be left at the very end are the very first guy and the last guy. So we know that the sum of the series will be one over two factorial minus one over 20, 24 factorial, which we know how to evaluate this. Two factorial is just two, so it's one half minus one over 20, 24 factorial. And this is the sum of this series. Now, by the way, this is a super small number, okay? So you can say that one half approximately is the sum of what you see. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.